Welcome to Take a Break, Take a Breath for Wednesday, December 16th. I'm Rick Boyer, the pastor of Prospect Presbyterian Church, and Take a Break, Take a Breath is an invitation to stop all the busyness of our day and all of the to-do lists and all of the activity and just be still and quiet and breathe for a little while as we center ourselves in God who made us and loves us and calls us by name. Each Take a Break, Take a Session, Take a Break, Take a Breath session, I've been focusing on a different psalm, and I'm on, we're on Psalm 115 today. Psalm 115, actually, uh, some versions of Scripture have Psalm 114 and 115 as one psalm and include them together. So it's really hard to cl classify this or to say what kind of psalm it is. I'd like to make just a few comments about some of the things in the text though. Psalm 115 is really tough on the idols and it's, a, it's an argument that they're having with those who make idols and it's, it's probably um, extreme in that in that it talks about the idol as being the thing they worship or the god um, that they worship when in fact in those days the idol was to be a representation of the god they worship however having said that the point is still made and and that's what the psalmist is trying to say is that while their idols their gods do nothing god the God of Abraham, Isaac, and, um, and Jacob, and Joseph, the God of Jesus Christ is, is the God who makes things happen. The God of our faith is the God who makes things happen. The other thing I'd say about the um, pieces or some of the details in there is that when it talks about God sitting in heaven, it's not thinking about a geographical location, a particular place, as much as symbolically saying God is sovereign over all. And heaven represents that or symbolizes that sovereignty. The text narrows itself down. If you read the psalm, it focuses in on verses 9 to 11 at the center of the psalm, and one word that's repeated over and over in the center of the psalm, trust. So I chose verse 11 for the verse to focus on today. You who fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. God is their help and their shield. You who fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. God is their help and their shield. So I invite you to go to a quiet place if you haven't already done so and settle into a comfortable chair and close the door and breathe. Not those quick breaths we take when we're rushing around, but some nice deep breaths and continue to breathe deeply. And with each breath, Breathe in the breath of God, and with each exhale, breathe out all that separates you from God. Breathe in the breath of life. Breathe out all that does not give you life. Breathe in the peace of God. And breathe out all the anxieties and fears and worries. Continue to breathe deeply and close your eyes. Feel the peace of God filling your body from the tip of your toes to the top of your head. Imagine it like slipping into a nice, warm, calm, relaxing bath. <coughs> the door is closed. You're sliding into that tub and the water brings so much relaxation as your feet slip into it and you're and it moves up to your calves and your thighs and you're sitting in the water oh how good that feels and what relaxation comes 
and then you slide down so that your torso is covered. It comes up around your belly and your stomach is calmed and relaxed. If it's been jittery or upset, it's calmed. The water washes up over your chest and as it does so, your breathing gets deeper and even more relaxed and your heart rate calms and slows. And as you're in that wonderful tub of water, the muscles in your back relax. And all of the tensions that are in your back and all of the pains are melting away. And then you slide down so the water is up to your chin and your neck is completely submerged in the water. Your shoulders and your neck relax and it feels good. Your hands and your arms float freely in the water. It's as if there's not a care in the world right now. You're at peace. You take some of the water and splash it on your face and it relaxes the muscles in your face and your brow becomes unfurrowed and your jaw relaxes and maybe you smile. You take some of the water and you pour it over your head and the warmth of the water calms all the activity in your mind. You're at peace and at rest in the presence of God for this moment. And then in your mind's eye, imagine yourself as a young child. And imagine yourself crawling up into the lap of God. God invited you to come and to sit on the lap. And God looks into your eyes and puts God's arms around you and says, tell me about your day and your week. What's on your mind? What brought you joy? What upset you? And the two of you talk. God listens and God responds to all that you have to say. I'll be quiet while the two of you talk now. And then the time comes for the conversation to end for now. You know, you can always come back to this place and this time and can always talk to God. God is always waiting for you. You say goodbye in whatever way is right and appropriate. And after you do so, you let that image in your mind's eye fade away and you bring yourself back to the place where you are. And when you are ready, open your eyes. Well, let's take a break, take a breath for Wednesday, December 16th. If you have feedback for me or you want to talk or pray, 
send an email to rick at prospectchurch.org.